Hello and blessings to you all. I am Lucette and this is the Wiccan Life Podcast. Welcome back. Today we continue our journey through the major arcana of the tarot. We shall be working on the magician. I recommend that you have this card in front of you and all the other magicians from all your tarot card decks if you have more than one. This will really help you to understand the subtle differences between the decks. However, for the meditations I will be describing the Rider Waite tarot cards. Now it is not my intention to teach you about the cards. For this you need to get some books, read about the cards and practice. This podcast is about helping you meditate, so all I will be doing is facilitating a space for you to explore each card and find out a little more about yourself or what you need to know right now. This tarot series of meditations will guide you through a journey of self-discovery, of self-awareness. So without further ado, let's get meditating. Get yourself comfortable, preferably in a sitting position, and close your eyes. Start breathing slowly and be aware of your breathing. The breath goes in and then it goes out. As you start to relax, remember that you can end the meditation at any moment by opening your eyes and you will be immediately back to reality. Take a deep breath in, and then let the breath go. Do this one more time. Take a deep breath in, and then let it go. Slow down your breathing, making sure when you breathe out, you remove from your body all the stresses of the day. Slow down your breathing, making sure when you breathe out, you remove from your mind all the stresses of the day. Slow down your breathing, making sure that when you breathe out, you watch all your worries disappear. Continue to breathe slowly. Feeling your body relaxing, your muscles softening. From your feet up to your ankles and then your calves and your thighs, you relax your muscles. Then to your pelvis, up your torso, through your chest and down your arms, you relax your muscles. And finally, up your neck, around your face, you feel your muscles relaxing. You feel very calm. You know you are very relaxed. As you sit there in contemplation, a wide, calm mist appears all around you. This mist grows and grows. It is calm and it is safe. The mist keeps growing and getting thicker. Like thick fog, it surrounds you and all you can see is the fog. The fog then transports you to a deeper and calm part of yourself. And as the fog takes you to this part of yourself, Then it slowly starts to disappear and it becomes thinner and you find yourself walking through a long corridor. As you walk along this corridor, 
You see that there is a door in the far end. You walk towards it. As you get closer to the door, some words start appearing on your door, and they say, Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. You take a moment to understand those words, and you read out loud, Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. And now you open the door, and the door opens to a circular room that feels like a small gallery. You can smell the clean air of a purified gallery atmosphere. The room is in total silence, and you are the only one there. You can feel the peacefulness of the room. You can sense that you will discover a lot about yourself inside this room. Floating in the middle of the room is an empty picture frame. You walk towards it, taking note of what your frame looks like. What is it made of? What colour is your frame? Is it an ornate frame or is it simple? Take a few moments to look at this frame. As you stand there in front of the empty frame, you suddenly see that something begins to appear inside the frame. First a mixture of multiple colours, nothing of a particular shape. However, slowly it transformed to the image of the magician tarot card. And you know it is the magician because at the bottom of the frame, the name, the magician, appears carved into your frame, alongside the number one. On this painting you can see the magician standing tall with a white and red robes. One hand holds a wand pointing upwards, and the other hand points down towards the earth. The magician is letting the energy from up above move down onto them. They fill their bodies with the energy from the heavens, the energy that is needed to manifest what we want, and with the other hand, the magician makes it a reality by pointing down the energy towards the earth. In front of the magician there is an altar with the four elemental tools, the pentacle, the sword, the cup and the wand. These are the tools that we use to create on our own world, the four basic elements that we use to manifest what we want what we desire, what we need. Around this scene there are colourful flowers that surround the magician to remind us that we are off the earth and on the earth we manifest our reality. The magician knows what they want and they channel their energy into the right direction to make it a reality. Above the magician's head, you can also see the infinity sign, the eternal flow of life and death, of beginning and end. Energy is not destroyed, but simply transformed, changing it into what we need. As you stand there in front of the painting, you suddenly see how it becomes alive. It has movement, it shifts and changes, it starts moving, magically transforming in front of your eyes. Your eyes now gaze upon a scene that is familiar to you, and as you gaze towards the painting, you find the magician suddenly looks just like you. 
It is your face that you are looking at. You can sense that this painting portrays something from your experiences, past, present and future. You can feel yourself inside the painting. You can sense what is showing you. Take a few moments to feel the emotions that the painting is showing you. Take a few moments to obtain that message, that important message that your inner voice is telling you. Take a few moments to see how your story unfolds. Having now spent a few moments as the magician, you slowly return to your gallery. You remember where you are. You are standing in front of the painting of the magician tarot card. And as you stand there, you watch the card disappear in the same way it came to life. First, a mixture of colors. And then, slowly, an empty void, leaving the frame empty and floating in the middle of the room. Take what you have learned with you. Take the lessons deep in yourself. Know them. It is your choice how you deal with them. Now it is time to go back. So you turn around and walk back towards the door where you came in. And as you reach the door, you take one last look at the empty frame floating in the middle of the room. You will be back soon. You open the door and step into your corridor. And you keep walking along the corridor. And I want you now to start to count from 10 to 1 backwards. 10. The calm mist starts appearing again all around you. 9. That familiar mist turns into a very thick fog again and it surrounds you completely. 8. The fog then slowly takes you back to where you started this journey. 7. The fog turns to a little mist. 6. Then the mist starts to disappear. 5. You become aware of the space around you. 4. You become aware of your body. 3. You start moving parts of your body. Two, have a good stretch. And one, open your eyes. And now in front of you, grab your card. Or cards if you have more than one. And take one look at them. Study them. What emotions do they evoke? What do they remind you of? The first thoughts, what does it bring to you? I hope you enjoyed that unique journey. This is a journey of self-discovery using the lessons from the tarot cards. As always, feel free to message me. I always message back, even if it takes me a few days. Also, if you enjoy the meditations and want to support me in a small way, buy me a coffee through my website or the link through my bio. Another way you can support me is by spreading the word. Let others know what you have learned and enjoyed. 
share the meditations on social media. Spread the joy. Until next time, merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again.